Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make your Michael Huang animations remastered. So first open up Adobe Animate or Adobe Flash, whatever you want. So click on this new file. If you don't see it, go to go to he, over here, file, new, and make sure the canvas is um 640 by 360 canvas. Now the frame rate needs to be 24. Really important. Anyways, uh, action script 3.0. If you're doing it with Macromedia Flash, this process won't really work. But make sure it's CS6 or above, I think. Because I think that it has frame picker. I'm not sure. Make sure it does have frame picker. So I've like some FOAs in the description that we're gonna use. So first, import, open external library. And then select the FOA I've linked, which is called um, BFDIA Assets Newware. Okay, then uh, open it up, and this and a, win a new window should appear, like a library, but like separated from the library. Should appear, but uh, this will take a little bit of time. And there we go. Now we can put this over here, so we drag that over there. Okay, and let's search up our character. So I'm for this tutorial I'm gonna do walkie because it's a more complex shape. Um I want to do, experiment with 3D. So like search up action blocky and like if some and make sure it's a blocky body side so we can do the 3D and now we can make a rig. So first things first, make two new first Convert this into a symbol or just press A face and make sure this is a graphic and now name this walkie rig. Now double click to go inside and then we can go to properties and now make two new layers, one below the la the body layer and one above the left body layer. Now we can add the limbs. So for so let's search up leg. Now you see there's many legs, so just search FP leg. This now put that leg over here and make sure this is like there. It's like there. Now go to frame picker, which I which you can go from window and then clicking frame picker and put it in here. So we're gonna select um for this tool, I'm gonna do like this, like that. Now may align the leg, I guess, and then duplicate it with control D. Put the other leg over here. So now we can adjust the size of this. I like to do it like a tiny, teeny, tiny bit more, more that. Okay, now in the layer above, we're gonna add an arm. Put that arm over there. Now this is really important, but you have to break it apart a, lot, a bunch of times. So, but I don't recommend you doing that. Just such a arms. Arms trade in the library, straight and like this one, and then put it over here. I like put that over here and double click the anchor points and to make it in the original position. And then duplicate this and make sure this is on this layer over here. Du so duplicate it like that. Now put this. Over here, and boom, we've got ourselves a blocky rig. But it doesn't have a face. Where's the face on this thing? Well, we can add it by searching up BFDI mount KFC. Now put this over here, and you may notice it's kind of big. We can size it down. I'll make sure there's some this layer. We can size it down a bit so it looks accurate. I recommend you doing like the size okay, for the mouse, like this one. Okay, then add some eyes for the eyes. I honestly prefer doing the II eyes, so it's such a. So I'm gonna link in the description some F I F A called II two season two sixteen F A S. Description of the video, and you're gonna have fun, and you're gonna have to open this and like snatch the eyes, so like go to like here. So f so. Do like love. We can do this simple trick. So like on, instead of on this, select that and boom. Now search up K KFC. Um no eyes. You just search up eyes and make sure this is P two. 
or else um, it's gonna be bad. And then put this on over there. Put the make sure these are r r separated correctly. Can separate them like this. So it, this looks fine. I guess. Now make sure the mouth is over here. And let's give him a happy smile like that. Now it looks much better actually. But there's just one more problem. Where's the eyebrows? Well, we can do just that in the FOI, same FOI, so just search up eyebrows, so, or brows, actually, and then place this over here, now it's, it's worded, it's like, like worded, how do we fix it, like this, now, put, duplicate this, and put it over here, and sort of this one, now you see, this looks more like this, and then boom, then boom, uh, we can stretch this a little bit, like that, and boom, we have it. We have it. We have done the rig. We have finished it correctly. If you done all the steps correctly, we, we should have a box. But you see, this is not 3D. This looks so personal. How are we gonna fix this? Well, we can go inside, like convert this into a symbol. So control A. So just control A. Convert to symbol. Make sure this is a movie clip. And name this side one. Okay, now we can duplicate this layer and like do this, like move this over here, and like you can like do this, so, like stretch it a lot, like this, like stretch it so you can't even see it, like that, like you can't, so you can't actually see it. Place this over here. Now you can't see it yet, you can't see it from far away, but we're gonna fix it. So go. Over to here, and like we can like do this. So then, we can like adjust it so it's 3D. So like there, do this, like do that, and then do this. Then we can actually no, don't do that. Do this instead. So like then uh, we can do this simple trick, like that. Align it properly, and you may notice that like this is a file. So how do we fix that? Well, we're gonna trace it. But to trace it, we can do this. So like, put the the, the strength to a hundred, and select uh, like a like a green color so we can see it more like, accurately. And now set this to three point five, which is what it what the bug uses, I believe. Yeah, that's what bug uses. Now align this properly and make sure the snap and a snap align are accurate so, or this process won't really work it's better to do this for tracing objects it's much easier like that move this a little bit up maybe down a bit now now do this now you might notice something and that is that this is different make sure it looks like that because it will glitch after that and it's gonna be really ugly really ugly like a lot of ugliness ugly glows and then put this over here now you see the problem well where's the problem here uh there it's fixed now um wait undo that because it sometimes glitches like that it sometimes does that i guess how to do to fix this uh we need to like make sure this is in the layer up here now we can do it like this make sure it's on that layer okay M move this a little bit down a bit then like move this there now align this properly so it looks like that and boom now we can make this like color so i'll go to object stroke and select the outline color which is this one and boom now we can delete so like hide this and boom delete this and boom now you may notice something that is that this is like glitching like why how to fix it well just stretch it a bit not that much and then boom now we we can now we can do the 3d like this and then then and we can do like a like a go to frame and adjust color and do like a hue and make it a bit of thinker and the brightness needs to be like a little bit darker so it looks like boxy do the bright I like to do the brightness at 20 at 30 for some reason and it will look like this. And boom. We have done the bulky 3D. 
now what we can do with this power of greedy so what is we can duplicate the top part like do this like align it properly like this and then what we and make it make sure it's perfect or else this process won't really work that much so make sure it's perfect perfectly like that there we go like this and boom now we can do a, like a bright a bright so I just color I make the hue like like minus four I guess so like with this color hue there like the brightness so we notice something that is that it's not updating uh, that sometimes happens. We just close out of that and I'll reopen it. So that'll fix it. That'll fix it, I guess. But make sure you have auto recovery on because we don't want to lose your progress. And save it first. So let's take this blocky. Let's put blocky. Greedy. Now, let's save that. And here, actually, do I have the Q minus 2? Make the brightness. Just do that. And boom. For the contrast, let's do like five. Uh, look at this. We have ourselves blocky greedy. Now, now, now that that's taken care of, the final start animating. Finally, after so much of editing and doing some ridiculous stuff, we can finally start rigging. So first, make sure this is here. And boom. There we go. Now what I can do with this is. First, extend the timeline to like 100, I guess. Extend it to like 100, I I guess. Oh, wait, it's my mic, like that. Yeah. So, so, um, go to frame, then f go to like, be so, like this, and make sure this is a graphic. Make sure it's like that. Now, those things don't need to be like that. Don't click that, placing a frame for the cut. You make sure it's play graphic in loop. Or you can alternatively do. Play graphic once. So now make sure this is minor removal where it aligns. Like make it perfect. Make sure it's perfect. Really, make sure it's a hundred percent perfect. And boom. Now we can do have ourselves a box of it. Now you may notice that the colors aren't right. Now it's this. Uh, what we can do. Instead, we can add like a reference picture, like delete this and delete that, and we can add like a reference picture and duplicate it. So duplicate this, and then like go to like here, and such a blocky, like a three already made three D blocky like this. Stretch it like that. Boom. Now select this color, this and blue, and then and drag it over here, and boom, look at that. And now we can delete this. Go over here to the top part and make sure this is duplicated too. So it's on one, cover two, and then put the blocky there. And then we can stretch it like that. Boom. Now make sure this color is like this one. And boom, look at that. Look, it's more accurate now, I guess. So we're gonna align it like this, and boom. Now you may notice something, and that is, it's not that accurate, so we can make this a little bit like that. And boom. Now make the, the, the face smaller, actually. Make it a little bit smaller, just like this. And boom. It's more real now. Now the, we make sure this is smaller, like that. And boom. Look at this. It is now more real, I guess. There we go. It's more real now. It's more real looking, I guess. It's more real. Real looking like that. So maybe, maybe you do that. Boom. Now we have successfully made a rig. Now we can start animating. First, go to like frame 10 or yeah, frame 10. Make control A and select the, and make a keyframe. Or if you don't see this, you can go to here, go to go to this menu over here, go to like go to um, what's it? Uh, um, where is it? Timeline control. No, wait. Push to my timeline tool and do the th this, like this thing. Make it like that. It's, it's much more comfortable. Comfortable. Now we're gonna do like a simple animation. So, like, make sure this is uh, duplicated. So, I'm straight copy here. And in the first frame, actually, we're gonna delete this. Because 
frames. Now make sure to screw everything to a layer, or else it, this person won't really work. I guess make sure it's like aligned like that. Cool. Now we can finally start. Now we can finally start animating. Finally. So make sure this also has a hundred frames. Let's do it even work. Make sure this is a graphic and it's looking like this. And now we can start animating. So let's do a frame on ten like this like that actually first thing first with the this arm to have a hundred frames and uh, what i want to do is i separate the, this the this this so i can make this one and what i'd like to do is to make the screen and separate the hands from the arm so it delete this we only have to delete that and boom now we can screen this up here now we can do a new layer and make this four. If you make this like actually like three point eight, and we will do this. Now make sure this like that. There we go. Now this is too big, so let's instead make this like three. I guess. Now you see where where did the how do we do like thing this arm over here? Oh, it's actually pretty simple. You, you, if you just press U and then like select the top part and make it like that, and it looks much realistic there. Like it looks much more realistic. Boom! Look at that. We have done it. Now add to profiles and name this arm arm. I guess. And boom! Do this. My form arm is blah blah. And boom! We have arm. Sync. And now we're gonna control A and copy this and paste it on the other hand. So just paste it. And then show the layers. So what I like to do is do that and paste it over the top. Boom! Now we can start animating. So first we need to extend the timeline to like 100 and make it like that. And now what we can do is we're gonna do like a little like this. So like we're gonna do this like Put it over here down, downwards. And here, instead of this, we can do this. Do this, like, like this. Do like, make sure to make a keyframe here. And do like this, I guess. This pose, I guess. Like, or what we can do actually, uh, that looks bad. Let's do this instead. Like that, like that. Boom. Looks much better now. Much more real. All we can do is make sure this is like that. Boom, there we go. Make sure this align properly. There we go. Okay, now we can start animating. I guess animate. Now we do what we can do here. Oh, I forgot to do a keyframe. What we can do is create a shape tool and do a, like a like a do a custom. Uh, no, no wait. Do an a cubic is node and modify it, and then this needs to be like this instead. Like instead, make it like a little bit more like simple, like more realistic looking, and more like multiplying stuff. And boom! Look at this. We have done it. Now let's name this my quiz. Make sure this part is like that. I guess. And boom! We can apply it now. And boom! Look at this. It looks like Michael's sound. Now what we can do is do it there and we can do this. Now for the other arm, let's do the same. It's the same for the other arm. So make a keyframe. And do like the same like for that. Now what we can do here is what I like to do actually. Let's rotate it a little bit less side actually. Let's make this more over here. Boom. Now we can tween and make the Michael's very overpowered. Actually, the Michaels. Boom, look at this. Now, what we can do is we can tween now. So, first things first, make this like this legs. So, this is one. Keyframe one, because that's the this. Now, make this a little bit smaller. And boom, look at this. So, you may notice why is the first frame like that? Well, that's because we're doing keyframe first. Now, we can tween. Now, we can tween like that. Now, let's do like a. Like a, 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 
or modify of it so it, it's less like this, like that. It should look like this. Oh, look at that. Actually, let's make this a little bit less, more intense, so it looks more real. Let's do that. Let's do that. Like this. In this frame, like this one, boom. And here, in this frame, we're gonna make a keyframe on the left. Okay? But first, we need to, like, make a keyframe in, like, frame 2, I guess. Like, make, like, this thing, so it, it looks more, like, on point. So, like this. And boom, look at this. But you might notice something that is, you know, in the way it looks like this. And then, actually, undo that. Do it in the middle instead. Just experiment with this thing. Two things. Do that. Actually, we just make it in the middle. So, it's like this. So, like that. Now, make this like that. Like this. And then, like this. And you may see there's a problem with this. It's not realistic looking. So let's do that instead. So like that. Make this like this. Make it like Boom. Now, it looks like this now, but how do we fix this? Oh, it's simple. We can do instead of any scene, any set, a cubic scene. And here we can do like a, like a, like a, a quarter scene. Boom. Look at that. So like this. Now, this looks really bad actually. Let's. Do this instead, like that, and boom, make this over here, and boom, like this, like this, like that, and then we're gonna adjust this, and boom. But here, what I have to do here is just change this to like frame to make it like more realistic, I guess. And boom, look at that. Now we can do 3D now. So now that we've done that, we can do like hand movements, or like we do custom hands. Let's do a keyframe feature first. Like this. Now, con press Alt in your keyboard, and then drag it over here. And we just had a finger now. We have a finger thingy now, like a finger type of thingy. Now adjust this so it looks like this, I guess. And boom, and boom, and boom. Now it should look like this. Should look like this. Now make this like that, and then boom. Make it like that, and boom. align it, and then do this, and do this, like a format keyframe, like there, the keyframe, and boom, look at this, can do like this, tilt it, I guess, and then, at, like, over here, we can do like a cubic, and here in the middle, do like a, like a quad, and boom, like this, and then, look at that. Look at him go, look at him go, look at that. And here we can do like this section, and so it looks more real. Like this, like this, and then do it like this. There, and there, maybe this, like, boom. Boom. Now, this actually needs to be like a quad, actually. I like to do quads for the piece out. So you might see this actually looks really bad. Let's do a cubic one here. Make like a new custom, like make it align it like that. Uh, so it looks more real. I guess here we can do like this. Like that. And do like a like a sign easing out. So let's just do that and boom. Look at that. Here we go. Now here we can do this. Like here, make it like this. We can boom. So now that that's taken care of, we can do 3D. Now this is like a short tutorial and like we don't want to continue the animation. But for now, do this. Make this like that. Okay, for just do the like upper part, like the elbow, then do this. And then we can do like this thing. And boom, look at that. Look at them. It's like that. We can do like this instead. Do I have to do this? Do this. Modify a little bit like that, like like that, and boom, like this, like that, and do the same, and boom. Now we can do like a like a like a twin, and do like like a like a sign, I guess. It's more messy than I guess. 
And boom, it should look like this now. And boom, we have done it. Our first Michael Huang animation. Now, like, we can adjust this arm a little bit. So, here, do it. Like a more necessary day, yes. And boom. Now we can do like an even more necessary. And boom. Here we can do like instead, let's do like a skull again. Yes. Yeah, what is this? Actually, do like this one. Actually, we are like to do like even look at me right there. There. And then do this. And do that. Last thing, so let's make that a little less. Let's do it like a little bit. Actually, remove that. Remove that. It doesn't look good. I'll just do this, I guess. Let's do that. Remove. And boom. Now, it should look this now. And boom. Done it. This is my core animation. Now, extend the channel to like 65, I guess. And boom, like this. Boom. We have done it. Now for pointing. For pointing, I like to do this. Boom, make it smaller. So set next frame, make it even smaller. And then go like this. I'm drag it up here with alt. Make sure to alt. And then go to frame. And go to first. Go to two. And do two. This. This. Align it like that. Now I'll move the eyebrows over here. I'll make them like that. And like tilt it like this. Boom. Shoot, and now here we can do a keyframe, do like a like a thing, like this, I guess, and like this. Here we go. Actually, let's do a keyframe. Let's say it should look like this. Go here, make it bigger, like this, and like that. Actually, let's do like this thing, make it bigger like that. Here, let's drag this a little bit with arts, arts. Now do this. That here we can drag this sign over here, and this sign over here, and this sign over here. Now it's between this and like between rulers. So first this, boom. Now here do a keyframe. Let's do like a keyframe here, yes. And do like a like a like a cubic cell. Actually, let's do like a like a cubic sign or something like that. And boom, look at this. Now, for more depth, we can do this. And boom, look at that. We have done it. We've done our first Michael Huang animation. Finish. Do that. Now we have everything go. Look at this. So we've done 3D and custom arms. Now we can adjust this section. Like, adjust this. It doesn't look that fake. And it looks more real. I guess, like that. And then right here, do like this. Instead. And then, go back. Select this, yes. See? Make it more real. Like that. Boom. There we go. Now, select this. And do like this. Do it. Tilt it. And do this. I guess. And then, boom. Finish. Finish something. I'll look like this. We have done it. We have made an animation. Make sure to save this real quick and boom. And look at this. We have now we have 3D. And now we can adjust this arm, but I don't have really much of time to do that, so we're just, just gonna leave it there. And boom, 